Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that IBM hiring, off-campus hiring is going on in many colleges. So every day, lot of people are giving IBM exams, and many of you were requesting me on Telegram that I should also cover some of the IBM coding questions. So guys, here is the video. In this particular video, I will be discussing today's coding question, which was asked in IBM. Okay, in this video, I will be discussing a single coding question. But in exam, you will be getting two coding questions. Okay, for okay. So this coding question was asked today only in the IBM exam that happened on twenty second December two thousand twenty four. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end because the uh, the coding questions are happening on the Hacker Rank platform and there is a lot of like medium to hard level questions are getting asked here. So don't skip any part of this video. More videos I will be making in future. But in this video, I will be covering only a single coding question. to okay to motivate me and to make sure to be present on this channel make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because i have told you lot of videos regarding ibm not only for coding questions but for the interview preparation also will be posted on this channel make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for on this channel and guys do join this telegram group this particular telegram group is dedicated for 2025 batch students okay any company that is uh, hiring is going on ent ent ibm tech mahindra accenture so all the information you will be getting in this particular group okay since it is a dedicated group for 2025 batch students the link of this group you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment make sure to join it because lot of discussions in the uh, students are doing regarding different different companies and what is happening in their colleges okay so having said that let's start this video make sure to watch this video till the end Okay, so guys, first of all, I will be discussing the question, then the uh, approach of this question, and finally the coding part of this question. Make sure to watch this video till the end. A number of bids are received for a project. Determine the number of distinct pairs of project cost where their absolute difference is some target value. Two pairs are distinct if they differ in at least one value. Now the question is really simple. What we have given. we are given a project cost okay so these are different different project cost and we have been given a target value now from these project cost we need to find the distinct pairs whose absolute difference is this target value okay so let me explain with the help of this example so this is the input <coughs> array and this is the target value we need to find the distinct pairs whose difference is this target value so if you will look closely you will find total two pairs 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 5 so what is their distinct value or what is their <coughs> target value if you will do absolute difference of these pairs you will get target value as 2 which is a required value so this is one of these pair and another pair is 3 comma 5 so 5 minus 3 is again 2 so you will be getting again a distinct value so therefore total two pairs two distinct pairs exist whose absolute difference is equal to 2 that is the target value now what do you mean by distinct pairs so there might be a possibility like this is the input if i will change this input a bit so see here so if we have two threes and one five so one pair will be this 3 comma 5 and another pair will be this 3 comma 5 so this so two pairs we have got with 3 comma 5 but you will if you will see that these two pairs are duplicate okay since values are different but because three was but three was three was repeating so three was repeating therefore we have got two pairs of same type but we only required distinct pairs we need to find a distinct pairs therefore we have only therefore uh, only this one pair will be considered okay and for this particular input also that output will be two only okay i hope this particular thing is clear to you we have to find distinct pairs whose absolute difference is equal to the target value let's just see with the help of another example so this is the project cost given 15342 and target is 3 sorry target is 2 here so if you will look closely how many distinct pairs exist whose difference is 2 so there is 1 comma 3 there is 3 3 comma 5 and there is 2 comma 4 so total three pairs exist whose absolute difference is given equal to the target value okay so we have returned that okay three pairs exist i hope now the question is clear to you okay it's slightly on the medium side it's not very easy but i would say on the medium side now let's just quickly discuss the approach of this question 
So before moving ahead, if you are finding this video informative, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. Make sure to join the Shairam group. It will be a lot of help to you. 11,155 students are from 225 batch and they are present on this channel. Make sure to join it if you have not done it till now. The link of the Shairam group you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. Now let's move towards the approach of this question. Now let me just read this four point and then we'll do one by one. So add all the unique elements in the hash map. Okay, there might be repeating elements also in the array. We will make a hash map in which we will only put the unique elements. Now formula for finding the target is what we are doing. We have to find the absolute difference between two values and they sh it should be equal to target. But what we'll be doing, we will be modifying the formula. So we are given x minus y equal to target. So what we'll be doing, we'll be doing x is equal to target plus y. So if now we will check if target plus y is present in the hash map, then we will increment the count by one else no. This is as simple as that. Again, I'm telling you our formula was x minus y equal to target. Now we have modified this formula to become x is equal to target plus y. So now we will be checking if target plus y is present in the hash map. If it is present in the hash map, then we will be incrementing the count by one else we will not be incrementing it. Let's just see with the help of an example. So we have input array as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Target value as 2. Okay, input value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Target value as 2. Now this is a hash map. Okay, hash map will contain only the duplicate, only the unique elements. So key will be the element and value will be whether it is present or not. Right, boolean, true or false. So out of this hash map, we will put all, out of this array, we will put all the unique elements inside this hash map. So unique elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and value is true. Okay, so value is true here. Now what we'll be doing, we will be checking, we know target is 2. We will be checking now this, if target plus y is present in hash map or not. So what is this y value? What is this y? Target value we know it is 2, but what is this y value? What we will be doing, we will be iterating over this hash map now because we know that this hash map only contains the unique elements. So if it was it if this array was like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, then also our hash map would look like this only because we are only putting the unique element inside the hash map. Now what we will be doing, we will be iterating over the hash map and we will we will be following this formula. So this y value, sorry. So this y value, what is it? When, once we will be iterating over the hash map, this this value, this unique value will be the y value. Now let's just iterate over the hash map now. Okay. So target we have given 2. Okay, target was given as 2. So 2 and what is y? So we are iterating over the hash map. So first value will be 1. So 2 plus 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. Now we will be checking. Is 2 plus 1 3? 3 is present in the hash map or not? So answer is yes. 3 is present in the hash map. So we have a count variable also. Okay, we have a count variable also. Count equivalent to 0. So if target plus y is present in the hash map, then we will increment it by 1. So 2 plus 1, 3 is present in the, inside this hash map. So we have incremented by 1. Now moving towards the next value, target plus 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. Is 4 present in the hash map? Yes, 4 is present inside the hash map. So we will incrementing it by again 1, that is 2. It will become 2. Next value is 3. Next value is 3. So 2 plus 3. So 2 plus 3, that is 5. Is 5 present inside the hash map? Yes, 5 is present inside the hash map. So we'll again increment it by 1. Okay, I hope it's clear to you. Next, we are moving towards the 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6. Is 6 present inside the hash map? Answer is no. So we will not increment this count variable. Next value is 5. So 2 plus 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. Is 7 present inside the hash map? Answer is no. So we will not increment this count again. So once this iteration over this hash map is done, we'll simply print out this count that these are the unique <coughs> pairs. Okay which has the absolute difference as target 2. I hope it is clear to you. We are simply, we will simply returning 3 from our function. I hope now the approach is clear to you. Now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this question. But again, if you have not joined this exam group till now, please join it. It is dedicated for 2025 batch students. The links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. Lot of videos regarding IBM and different different companies I will be posting in future. IBM interviews will also be starting very shortly. Tech Mahindra interviews are going on. So all these things I will be covering on this channel. Make sure to be present here. Okay. Now let's move towards the coding part. Okay. So guys for saving time, I have already written the code here. Okay. Let me just show you. 
so this is uh, i have written in c++ but you are free to write in any language that you prefer first of all we will be taking the array as input size of the array and then the array elements as input then we are taking target value as input that was given to us now in the exam it is possible that you only have to implement the function you don't have to take care of taking input or output but for the uh, but, uh, since i am writing the code here uh, on uh, all by my own therefore all the things you have to take input by yourself okay here but in exam uh, it is possible that you only have to implement the function now what we have done we have declared a hash map here whose key will be int and value will be bool that is true or false next thing is we will be iterating over the array and we will be only putting unique elements inside the hash map we will be filling this hash map by iterating over the array elements and we will only be putting unique elements inside the hash map so for that this logic is written that in c++ if you have to check whether a value is already present inside the hash map or not what you have to do you have to do mp.count and that particular key so to check whether key is already present in the hash map or not we can do like this so if that key is not present inside the hash map we are adding that key in the hash map and giving the value as true as i have given you now after this loop is done we have all the unique elements inside the hash map okay we have all the unique elements inside the hash map now we have declared a count value which will denote that how many pairs exist which follows with whose absolute difference is equal to target now what i have told you we will be iterating over the hash map we will be iterating over the hash map and what we will be doing we will be checking if target plus y if target plus y is equal to if target plus y is already present inside the hash map or not we will be checking that so we are iterating over every element of the hash map and now we are checking if mp dot count it uh, in c++ mp dot count i have told you is used to find whether a key exists or not so target plus x dot first first <clears throat> since we are taking over the hash map we have key and value so x dot first represents key and x dot value x dot second represents the value so for every <coughs> iteration of the hash map we will be checking target plus x dot first if it is present inside the hash map we are doing count plus plus if it is not present inside the hash map we are not doing anything so this particular hash map will be iterated at every step this particular <coughs> expression will be evaluated target plus y and if that target plus y is present at the hash map we will be simply doing count plus plus i hope this thing is clear to you okay let's just uh, run with the help of sample input output so 1 2 3 4 5 we have tested this input and our output should be coming out to be 3 that three pair exist whose target value is 2 so you can see three pairs are existing okay now let me just put a uh, duplicate value here so one two three four five three oh sorry six elements now also the output should come out to be three only okay let's just see so yeah output is coming out to be three now this particular question this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you i hope you understood the question and approach and code also if you have not if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section and make sure to subscribe this channel because more such videos regarding IBM or different different companies I will be posting on this channel. Make sure to be present on this channel. Make sure to join this Telegram group. It's very much beneficial for all of you to join this group. The links are in the description box. Thank you for watching this video.